Hello, dear students. How are you today? I hope you are feeling good and ready to start our lesson. Today's theme is Animals, the ghost of the mountains. Ребята, наша тема на сегодня – животные. Призрак высоких гор. Today we will learn new words, get interesting facts about snow leopards and do tasks. Сегодня мы с вами выучим новые слова, узнаем интересные факты о снежных барсах, а также выполним задания для закрепления. Students, write down as many animals as you can think of. For example, you could write cow, horse, sheep, fox, squirrel, duck, eagle, bear, chimpanzee, rabbits, elephant, chicken, and hamster. Please look at the screen. Look at this film poster. Have you seen this film? Pay attention to these animals. Let's listen and repeat. Ape, ape, gorilla, monkey, monkey, Обезьяна. Snake. Snake. Змея. Panther. Panther. Пантера. Bear. Bear. Медведь. Wolf. Wolf. Волк. Tiger. Tiger. Тигр. Girls and boys, we are going to watch the video. Before watching, let's check some unknown words. Listen and repeat. Ghost. Ghost. Phantom. Fur. Fur. The hair of an animal. Prey. Prey. An animal hunted for food. Paws. Pause. The food of an animal. Endangered species. Endangered species. A species of animal existing in very small number. Now we are ready. While watching the video, answer the question. What ghost lives high up in the mountains of the Central Asia? Let's watch. The ghost of the mountains. High up in the mountains of Central Asia, there lives a ghost. It hides in the forests. It usually comes out at night. People rarely see it. But it leaves tracks in the snow so people know it exists. This isn't a real ghost. This is the snow leopard. It is a big cat that people call the ghost of the mountain. The snow leopard has thick fur. It's got black spots on its head, body and long tail. Its fur protects it from the freezing cold and its spots helps it hide from its prey. It also has big paws to help it walk on the snow. Snow leopards eat wild sheep and goats. They are incredible hunters. When they attack other animals, they jump as far as 15 meters because of their strong back legs. They are powerful animals and they can kill prey that is three times bigger than them. They rarely attack humans, thankfully. Sadly, this magnificent animal is now an endangered species. There are only a few thousand of them left in the wild. The snow leopard is an important symbol of Kazakhstan. In this country, there are less than 200 of the species left. It's important for us to help the snow leopard survive. We don't want it to become a real ghost of the mountains. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. Let's answer the question. 
what ghost lives high up in the mountains of the Central Asia? Could you find the answer? That's right. Snow leopard lives high up in the mountains of the Central Asia. Students, we are going to read about snow leopards and answer the questions. Let's read the questions first. What does the snow leopard eat? How many leopards are there in Kazakhstan? And what does the snow leopard's fur protect it from? Let's read the story. I hope you are ready. Let's answer the questions. First question. What does the snow leopard eat? It eats wild sheep and goats. How many leopards are there in Kazakhstan? There are fewer than 200. What does the snow leopard's fur protect it from? Snow leopard's fur protects it from freezing cold. Excellent job! Girls and boys, let's read the text again. Please follow and be ready to do the task. A ghost lives high up in the mountains of Central Asia. It hides in the forests and usually only comes out at night. People rarely see it, but it leaves tracks in the snow. This isn't a real ghost. This is the snow leopard, a big cat that they call the ghost of the mountains. The snow leopard has thick fur with black spots on its head, body and long tail. Its fur protects it from the freezing cold. Its spots help it hide from its prey. It also has big paws to help it walk on the snow. Snow leopards eat wild sheep and goats. When they attack other animals, they can easily jump up to 50 feet. They are very strong and can kill animals that are three times bigger than them. Luckily for us, they rarely attack humans. Sadly, the snow leopard is an endangered species. There are now only 4,080 to 6,590 of them. In Kazakhstan, there are fewer than 200. Let's hope that the snow leopard survives and doesn't become a real ghost of the mountains. Now we are ready to do the task. Let's make the sentences true or false. Read the sentences and choose the correct answer. You have some time. Well done! Let's check. A ghost lives high up in the mountains of Central Asia. The sentence is true. It is a real ghost. The sentence is false. It is a snow leopard, but people call it as a ghost of the mountains. When they attack animals, they can jump up to 50 feet. The sentence is true. Excellent. Well, let's have a look at another two sentences. Take your time. Very good. Let's check. The snow leopard has thick fur with blue spots. 
The sentence is false. It has black spots. The snow leopard is an endangered species. The sentence is true. Excellent. Let's complete the sentences. You need to use these words. Hope, height, ghost, wild, and species. You have some time. The time is up. Let's check. They call the snow leopard a ghost because few people see one. A snow leopard's spots help it hide from their animals. There are lots of wild animals in the mountains. Endangered species need protecting. I hope I see a snow leopard one day. Well done. Girls and boys, you did a great job today. Keep it up. Today we have learned the new words, got interesting facts about the snow leopards, and we have done the tasks. Our lesson is over. Goodbye.